<laughs> Hope you're ready for this update. Boy, do I have a good one for you. <laughs> Twenty twenty one is looking up, so stay tuned. Here we go! What's up, everybody? Welcome back here to Team Swords, and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Here I post a ton of basic training tips, recruiting, and other unrelated videos to include going live weekly to address your most desired questions and concerns. And do I have a phenomenal update for you today? I need you to share this video. I need this video to go viral, not for my reasons, but for everyone else's reasons, because this is breaking news for all trainees who are currently at the training sites and those who are about to leave for Army Basic Training. TRADOC, which governs regulations, policies, POIs, all the training and nuances and arrow, basically all the experiences that a trainee will go through at Army Basic Training. And they just published a new order. And they stated that effectively 15 May and forward, if the training site decides to have and want to conduct a in-person graduation ceremony, they can. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Almost everything is back in Army Basic Training. I mean, obviously we still gotta wear masks and all that good stuff, right? Now, a lot can change between now and May 15th. I mean, look at that, that's like over a month out. So more details will trickle down to how they will execute and what are the, you know, additional restrictions, right? So each training installation may have its own adjusted SOPs and how they're going to handle it. So there's the baseline and then there's additional restrictions or what have you that an individual training site can and will implement. So at the bare minimum, they're saying that at least for Fort Sill, COVID vaccines are not a requirement. Other installations may decide that it is a requirement so it would be in your best interest if this does not motivate you go get vaccinated it's highly encouraged although it's not mandated for now but it could right but at the very least you need to wear masks and socially distance Fort Sill is not going to implement a uh, limit to how many family members or friends that can attend the in-person graduation ceremonies. Here's the catch. As long as the graduation ceremonies can be conducted outdoors, then you are good to go. If for some reason, due to inclement weather, that the graduation ceremony has to be moved to an indoor venue, family members and friends are restricted and cannot attend the in-person ceremony, but they will allow friends and family to greet and meet their trainee immediately after the ceremony. Hugs, kisses, the whole nine yards, right? So they don't want anyone to go into an indoor facility to conduct the graduation ceremonies because they're still inside that protective bubble. Now, a lot of good things happened when we conducted our holiday block leave back in December into January. So as long as the COVID trend keeps going downward, the vaccinations are you know, happening more and more day to day, this is a huge and amazing step forward back to normalcy, or at least having the total basic training experience. This is amazing. I hope that people will adhere to the restrictions, whatever they finalize in the coming weeks, and that we continue to conduct these family days. They did vocalize that they are not entertaining the idea of a family day at this time, but if this first step goes well, it's foreseeable that that could too happen as well. Now, 
they will give you some time to spend with your trainee. They are not going to be authorized or allowed to go off post on graduation day, but they'll give them an on post pass for a specified amount of time so that they can afford them an opportunity to spend some time with their friends and family who actually attend. Now they also noted that the live streams on Facebook on the official training installation like Fort Jackson, Fort Sill, Fort Benning, and uh, Fort Leonardwood, they're still going to uh, live stream their graduation ceremonies for those because they are empathetic that, you know, due to COVID, this, that, whatever, family members can't afford tickets and hotels and so on and so forth, right? Because it's, it's hard times for a lot of people. So they're going to continue to live stream these graduation ceremonies. But this is a huge step forward to normalcy. I don't know, like, this is huge. Like, I am super stoked. And you heard it here first on Team Swartz. I, now, if you want to hear it for yourself, right, I'm just the middle guy. I'll post a link down below for the Fort Sills virtual town hall that they conducted via live on their uh, official Facebook page for Fort Sill. Check it out. Hear it from their mouths to your ears. And please please share this video. If you're not vaccinated, I would imagine that it could get implemented at some locations. I took my first Pfizer shot. I got a few more weeks before I can go get my second one. I feel fine, but you decide what you feel is best for you. But with that being said, like this video, smash it, if that's something that you're into. And, oh, and don't forget, drop that hashtag Team Sports down below. Let me know you watched this entire video and you are a member of my Team Sports squad. And I'll see you in the next video. Hold up, wait a minute. Like this video and follow me on social. And while you're at it, go ahead and uh, check out one of my other videos right over here. Just, just, just pick one. They're pretty cool. I mean, I liked it. I mean, I mean, I was in it. Spoiler. <laughs> I teach you something. Just, just saying.